Good day, guys. Being here um, today, we are going to oh hell, not this one. <laughs> so we are going to mod mod uh, try this one. Okay. Um, so um, we are going to um, we are going to use. Um, Adaptive family for this one because um and also uh I don't think uh, we're going to model it exactly like 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 this um um we're going to do uh do a quick one <laughs> okay so let's start so first uh we're going to use the adaptive family for this one so the idea is so let's just do a screenshot of this um so. Yeah, it's it's actually it's not very clear from these two images. It's, uh, um, it's uh, this five. So it's basically uh, this is a column, the main column, and then there will be five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So from the if you uh, look from a uh, reflex ceiling plan, it will be uh, oh, it will be um, no, sorry. <laughs> It'll be something like this, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, and then the columns like uh, will be um, pentagon shape. Okay, so now this is adaptive family. So what we're going to uh, start with one point, and then use adapt make it adaptive point, and then place a point you draw on word plan set word plan place onto the point select and then select this point so drag this up so this will be the height so let's create a parameter let's call it h and maybe instance parameter and okay so and then the next step is um what's the next step okay <laughs> Uh, we need to connect them. Okay, so use splice through points. Make make this line reference line, and then we need to create another four um five points. So let's just um place. Okay, so a rough uh, actually uh, use two one word plan set word plan pick the level. So we can just roughly one two three four five. Now select all these points. And we can just click on this uh, the side of this cube, so we can just use a uh, shift and the arrow K okay, and move them up. Okay, so now we can connect them. So splice through points, splice through points, splice through points, splice through points, and splice splice through points. So and then we can select all of these uh, lines, model lines, and change them to um, reference size. So now this is um, this is a skeleton of this family. Okay. So so from this uh, we are going to the next step is we're going to create. So you can see this is a co continuous. You know, quite very smooth. Um, Transition from from vertical and then go up there. So um, we're going to try uh, to uh, achieve this. Okay. So <laughs> mm, let me think. Okay. So instead of you know doing 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 that uh, sweep in here, so we're going to create another. Oh, sorry, wrong one. File uh, new family. Another generic model adaptive. Okay, so now in this family, we're going to place one, um, three points. We get one, two, three, three adaptive points, make them adaptive, and then connect one and two, connect two and three. Okay, and then we can just make them reference line. And then we're going to create a spline through points. Okay, so um we're going to use uh, uh, reference lines so start with reference spline through points use draw on face yes draw on face and then we're going to start from this end so i, I use s e that end point and then i'll just place a, po a point here 
and then place another point close to this point and place another point here and another one here and then finish it at this point I'll use SE and see you can see the, uh, the pink uh, rectangular shape so tab and pick this end and then escape to finish okay it looks like uh, this is not what we um, are looking for so we need uh, probably need uh, a couple of uh, points an extra two points so let's just place another point use draw on face and place onto the here select this point and make point driving and use pick new host and place it close to this endpoint just place it here so now you can see this this part of this spline is relatively uh, straight okay so let's do another one point place on anywhere on this line select this point uh, oh hang on select this point make point driving and then pick new host place it close to this one so now we have this spline through points it's very close to uh, this you know straight curve and straight right so okay I think that and also if you want to adjust this curve you can you can always select these two and use your keyboard to move them okay so yeah so now this is uh, and also see here if you need to make this very straight just need to reduce the distance between these two points and also between these port to point okay okay but uh, for this one I think that uh, it's, clo it's it's good enough <laughs> so maybe move this point close closer to this point okay so now we let's just select um, uh, what's the next step okay so the next step is we need to create a profile so see here it's it's like a UB uh, shape but we're, we're not going to um, create that um, you know the solid UB shape maybe just uh, uh, one two three three uh, straight line okay so so create a three uh, surface instead of a solid okay so we need a profile so again another um, adaptive family so in this one place a point uh, make this adaptive and we just need to draw a uh, model line so this time we need to use model line because we we um, we need to uh, we need these lines to be visible okay so model line and draw I think I'm going to use a rectangle draw on work plan set work plan pick this point the horizontal point I'll just do a rectangular shape and then well, I'm going to just do a dimension di pick this point and this will be the equal oops doesn't work uh, okay so that's fine let's delete this uh, maybe um, maybe select this point and create a dimension or oh, not this one delete this and I'll see if I can just place this onto the point oops uh, at witness line equal oh, still doesn't work um, maybe um, something's not right let's set our plan I'll pick this di one two three okay still doesn't work um, oh, this is tricky anyway that's fine so we can always just only do you know do one okay do one dimension and this one uh, which one do we need this one okay so now we have this this or delete this so these are the two ways add another maybe just add a dimension directly <laughs> okay so now we can just um, uh, hang on. can we do oh, sorry about that I think something's not right because uh, yesterday I, I can do this properly Let, let's just do it again so let's check these are uh, uh, the hang on, the word plan of these points the point 
Okay. Let's go to floor plan. Do it again. <laughs> uh, model line, rectangle, draw a world plan, set world plan, pick a plan, pick this dimension, di1. So maybe I'll try the vertical world plan instead of a point. Okay, doesn't work. Try the point. Okay, doesn't work. Ah, that's fine. That's fine. Let's just. Uh, I'll just give up. <laughs> I'll do uh, two dimension, just half. Okay, a half. And this one to here, this one to here. So I'm going to add a couple of uh, parameters. So uh, for example, I'll just add a width uh, instance. Okay, and another one. So let's call, uh, maybe call it height instance. Okay, and okay, and then uh, these two. We probably just use um, with half width, half width, and these two will be half height, so half height instance, and then we just need to go to family types half equals. Oh, so give let's give them some a uh, number. So for example, three hundred and three hundred, and then half height equals h divided by two, half width divided uh, equals uh, w divided by two with the bar two. So now we can control them, right? So that's uh let me let me just change the scale. So okay, so now we have this high height uh three hundred with three hundred. Um then we need to oh hang on uh because we need a, a UV shape, so we need a vertical member in the middle. So I'll just we we'll just use draw on, um, point and draw on face and play, pick the midpoint, and then we can just connect them. Okay, so just use uh, spline through points, and then uh, we don't need to change this to a reference line. We need them to be modular. So load this back into the family two, uh, where we have this. So we can place. So you can see we can place this onto this line, this uh, ref, uh, uh, reference line, and then we can just. Pl uh, so because the dimensions are the parameters are instance, so we can change. So for example, I'll change this to four hundred by four hundred, right? And then we can just create another one. So create component. Place another one, so we can have different size. So this is four three hundred by three hundred. This is four hundred by four hundred, and then we just need to tab select this edge, uh, this 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 line, and tab select this line. Hang on, let me just TL. So so yeah. Uh, so it's easier. <laughs> um, one two three. Okay. So and then we can create a form, right? And again, tab select. Tab Control Select and Control Select create another form, and then this one Tab Select uh, Control Select Tab Select Control Select create another form. So now we just need to select this point. Uh, so we can drag this. So we can see this uh, uh, become smaller. So which means we, if we type in zero, it go to th this end. So this one same. So we just type in one. So it will go to the other end. So now this is it. Okay. So if we place this one, so let let me just load this one into family one. So if I place, so I'll type S E snap endpoint. I'll tab pick the the bottom one, and S E snap on the this point. And S E snap this point. So this will create a, a member, a, a structure. So you can see it's um, okay. So it looks fine. But once we place multiple of them, so H H. If I place another one, S E tab, S E and S E. Okay, so HR. So now you can see um, it's not 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 right, right? So it's not right. <laughs> so what um, we're going to do is oh uh, yeah, what we need to do. Uh, we need to offset this profile a little bit. So you can see currently this 
profile sitting in the middle. So if we go back to our family, the profile, yep, here, maybe we should, uh, ah, so we have this e code. So maybe instead of this, let's just delete, I'll delete this, delete this, delete this. Uh, we don't need to equal them. So we're going to just move them down. Okay, so move down, down to here. And then uh, maybe I'll just align and lock this edge onto this uh, point. And then only use, um, oh, so this one, uh, hell, we need this uh, equal on this direction. So sorry, let's control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z. So we need this, but uh, we, we don't need here. So let's move everything down to here and e a l align use this uh, reference plan on this point and use and lock and then dimension di so this will be the height so directly just give it the height we don't need half height so if you want to you can just delete uh, this okay so click ok and just have a test if i change this one to 400 okay good so 400 Okay, good. And then we load into family two. Okay, overwrite. Now you can see uh, it will move offset. Um, so align the, this edge uh, with that, that uh, reference line. So now we load this one into family one and overwrite and overwrite. Ah, <laughs> looks like we have some issue, but um, that'll be fine. Let's click OK. I think we just need to maybe uh, sometimes this happens. Okay, so we need to create them again. So SE tab SE and SE. Oh, looks like it won't work. Um, not sure why. Um, maybe let me think. Uh, maybe maybe maybe. Um, yeah, not sure maybe we can just let's just increase the height so maybe this will fix it i don't know <laughs> so se tab se and here se yeah oh it works and let me just hh and create another one se tab se se okay oh so this one doesn't work maybe we just need to um adjust the point a little bit and then Okay, again. Okay, it works. SE, so now we have this. So, it's still not perfect. So you can see, um, looks fine, but if we have um, all these five member, uh, I'll just quickly create the other three. Okay, so we have these two. So create component SE, tab SE, SE. Okay, HH, SE, SE, SE. Okay, HH, SE, SE, SE. Okay, HR, now we have this. So it's quite close to, um, it's already very close to this. <laughs> right, so, so um, for example, we can just adjust, oh here, yeah. uh, we don't have that parameter uh, associated. So let's go here, so go to family types, um, oh, we need to, sorry, we need to select, select this profile and then uh, with height. Um, okay. So let's let's go. We need to. I think we need to adjust. Uh, I'll just do a. I'll do a. Hang on, let, let me just do a screenshot of this one. We need to adjust the height and the width. So, in the currently the, the shape is like this, the profile is like this. So what we need to achieve is from our side, it will be uh, the pe uh, a pentagon. 
so it will be here. So it's overlapping here, but we won't see. <laughs> we won't see them, right? So, oh, so that's hexagon. Sorry. So this need to go there. So some or something. I'll just do another one. So it basically need to be something like this. So we want this edge to to match this edge. Go up, go up, and go down. Okay, we we want to achieve uh, this. So what we need to do is, um, what we need to do is, okay. So because the profile of this one, so sorry, this is wrong again. So this one, this is wrong because the pro the we. We use the path. The path is in the middle, right? So, which means the this is H. H need to be H is this. So we need to, to find out the relationship between this H and this W. <laughs> okay. So this is H. This is W. So okay. So now let's do this a little bit uh, trigonometry. Um, so this is pentagon, right? So we know that uh, in uh, any of this uh, polygon shape, if we add this angle, right? Add this angle and this and this and this uh, and this. So one, two, three, four, five, five at this angle. So let's call it A. A times five equals 360, always, okay? so. Doesn't matter. So it's even it's uh, it's a, a hexagon. All these angle, um, the if you add them together, it will be three sixty. So which means uh, three sixty divided by five is seven seventy two degree. So this angle is seventy two degree. And so, which means this angle is 180 minus 72 equals 108. Okay. And then if I connect this edge, so this is a, a right angle tri uh, triangle. This angle, the half of the one, this, so it is 54. Okay. So, in this right angle uh, triangle, so in this one, so this is H, okay? So this is half of W. This angle is 54 degrees. So we know that tangent 54 equals uh, H divided by half of W. So now from here, we can find the relationship between H and W. So H equals uh, tangent 54 degree times uh, w half of W. So now let's go to um, that profile. So uh, where which one? Ah, uh, here. So we can just go here instead of you know having two um, parameter. So we can uh, manually control. So we just need to put that um, H equals t uh, tangent uh, times uh, half of W into here. So T A N fifty four degree times uh, let's just W divided by two. Okay, so this this should give us um, a shape that can create uh, eventually we can create a pentagon shape using five of this uh, uh, profile. Okay, so this is it. So now we can load this one into family two overwrite okay and then load into family one and overwrite and overwrite okay so now uh currently uh, it's not perfectly uh perfectly um, um uh, it's not perfect because currently these angles are just random so you can see if i click on top they are just some random angle. So what we're going to do is, um, how can we? Oh, hell. Uh, maybe let's do this. Go to a go to a, a elevation view. I'll just draw a reference plan here, and then I'll just use a 
just do another reference line and pick plan or pick this reference plan go to a other floor plan or a, a refract ceiling plan and then I'm going to just draw a, a pentagon okay so I just use this and change this one to five oh it's a little bit hard to pick I'll just pick this end, uh, midpoint uh, okay we are not seeing that shape because it's uh, above the cutting cut 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 plan so that uh, that's fine once we go to 3d view ah it's too small <laughs> uh, that's fine so let's go to the ceiling plan so we can so we can see that reference line those reference line let's type re scale so just scale this just roughly okay so roughly so maybe something like uh, this now we can uh, try to just ah, um, we can't see those points let's type WF uh, still still no oh yes they are there oh I think oh sorry I forgot I forgot to change <laughs> change the points into adaptive points let's do it now okay make adaptive points right so go now go to ceiling plan again then we can drag this point to there okay so tr drag this point to here and drag this point to here okay drag this point to here and drag this point to, to here so now let's have a look again so go to 3d view uh, we don't need this reference line uh, anymore so let's just delete them go to also go to front view we don't need this reference plan um, no no we don't need it uh, let's go to 3d view so now you can see it's almost perfect almost right so still not perfect but looks looks okay so I think this is um, this is this is it. Uh, we might need to uh, create create some parameters so we can control. So let's do it. So this is the width, um, the bottom width. Okay. So let's just create. Let's go call, call it B width BW <laughs> instance. Okay and okay and then. There's another profile here. Uh, let's try to pick this. So this will be the top. Uh, let's call it the top width. Okay. So and then if you want to, you can you know uh, create a material. I'll just call it MA. So you can control that. Let's use type parameter. So now load this one into family one. Overwrite. Okay. So select. It, so SA and now we can control the size so the bottom size you can increase it you can uh, reduce the top size if you want to and also you can change the material okay so now let's have a test so uh, I'll just create a new maybe project um, yeah and I'll just do a you know simple roof okay so by footprint uh, maybe diff uh, uncheck the define slope uh, maybe just do a scaling roof okay uh, maybe 10 degree so go back to the um, this one load it into the project okay so you can oh hell oh can be placed onto face yeah okay that's fine but you, uh, let's just place onto the level and uh, instead of you know place the point two three four five six you can escape and this will create this family for you so it's a uh, 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 it should be a vertical and uh, actually if depending on if you place yeah uh, place on face you can also do it yeah so it will follow the surface but if you want the it to be always vertical you can 
you can go back into this family and check this box okay so let's load this back all right okay so now you can so for example uh, this ceilings uh, uh, sorry this roof is a bit too low maybe put it there and so first uh, you have this height you can adjust right three meter yeah four meter maybe and then again you can select the point you can you can um, you can move it down you can also uh, adjust right uh, let me just go to yeah it's better so you can adjust the point to roughly match the roof so you can increase the height of um, here you can reduce height here you can increase height here and also uh, maybe for for example this point um, you can also you can keep the angle between them so it's always um, uh, let's go to top or target WF so you can just you know do this trying to trying to align these two um, these two points right so and yeah so you just need to uh, just manually adjust this point so um, I think that this is it uh, what else what else <laughs> let me just uh, copy this one you can also if you don't uh, want this uh, if it if you don't mind you know having you know uh, a not perfect uh, connection here you can also use pick new host and then just pick any point pick any point on uh, this roof but this uh, yeah apparently it will break here <laughs> so um, I think this is it so let's just uh, keep this one keep this one and I uh, will upload this family so you can have a play so yeah so this is it uh, adaptive family uh, not perfect but uh, I think it's good enough for some uh, concept right so okay so that's it if oh yeah uh, you can see those lines but yeah that's that's easy fix you can just select them and uncheck this okay so um, so this is it uh, if you have any questions please let me know I'll see you next time thank you bye